Hello everyone, welcome to Digital Feast. A few weeks ago, we did a show talking about how we were adding a camera to our virtual desk. Well, today we're gonna to get in front of that camera and we're gonna talk about lighting. Not just how we light this virtual desk, but also basic lighting principles in general. So let's go over to the studio with Ken and get started. Hi, I'm Kenny, Director of Photography here at Digital Feast. That means I focus on the camera work and lighting for all of our videos. And today we're talking about three-point lighting. Three-point lighting is the basic roadmap for most lighting in feature films or just in basic videos today. It is a key fill and backlight. Now, if you're someone who is experienced in lighting and video, this video is not for you. If you're somebody who's new to this and is maybe looking to just improve the lighting of your virtual meeting, like we've been talking about, then keep watching. House lights off. So here we have the key light. It is the light you use to light your subject or yourself. It is the main light they're gonna to use to see your face. A good way to figure out how to place it, think of the side that you're putting it on, close that eye and see how far you can look with this eye and that's where you put it. That way you can make sure that it will light up both eyes and evenly light both your face. That way you don't get that kind of two-faced look and look like a villain from Batman. Now that we have our key light set up, the problem you might be noticing is you can't really tell the difference between me and the background behind me at this point. So now we're gonna turn on our backlight. See this will kind of give me that kind of hair light, that kind of rim on the top here and that will help distinguish me from a dark background or just any background that might be a little too similar to my hair color. But at this point, we're in what's called a high contrast lighting setup. And that's because my face is still pretty dark on this side. So what we would use to even that out is a fill light. See, now it's gonna soften up those shadows and make things a, lot, a little more even, not quite as bright as our key light, but still pretty bright and still the right amount. When it comes to the key and the fill, you can play around with it though. If you decide that you wanna key from that side, or if you want a key from that side, or if you want to put the lights at the exact same intensity, you can do that as well. In fact, both the key and the fill at the same intensity is kind of known as a glamour look, because it will fill in all the shadows in your face and kind of help remove some detail if you don't want that high contrast look, because a high contrast look accentuates detail on your face, and sometimes that's not flattering. Right now we're using bicolor LEDs, which means that they can go from a tungsten color temperature all the way to a daylight color temperature, which is a little bit more on the bluer spectrum. That'll help you pick your lighting color and that way make sure you either stand out from your environment or kind of be more consistent with your environment. So you can dial those colors in. They usually function one of two ways. The Astra panels that we use sometimes, they have one knob that switches your color temperature and one knob for the light intensity. Whereas our newer lights, which I'm using right now, they have two knobs that dial in the intensity of the tungsten light and the, day, the daylight light. So when you're adjusting those lights, it's more of a figuring out how to dial down the orange temperature and the regular light temperature to get the color you want. It's a little more complicated, but if you play around with it, you could find the color you want. So the next topic is diffusion, and that is how do you diffuse your key or do you? Now, without diffusion, your light will be very harsh, it'll have create harsher shadows, and if that's the look you're going for, then great. But the first step to diffusion is some lights, lights like our newer panels, you can slide in a little diffusion board and that will soften the light a little bit. You have more effective diffusion the further the diffusion is from the light. So the next step would be how we diffuse our Astra panels with a softbox. That gives about, I would say, a half a foot to a foot of distance between the light and your diffusion to let it really work. So the next step beyond that would be increasing the size of your diffusion and moving it even further away from the light. And the way that we do that is with a metal frame that we have that works with our C-stands and some opal diffusion from a roll that we can tape onto it. That way, if we ever damage it, we can always replace it too. But what we do is we will rig up a light and then we will bring up our diffusion board on a C-stand and move it to the right distance so we can have a big source of diffusion coming from a regular sized light at a distance that we think is best. Now this way requires C-stands, the frame, the diffusion paper, and a light. So it is a much more complicated setup, but it is perfect for the work that we do. So the next thing you'll notice is that our backdrop, it's not lit pretty well. There's probably a shadow over there. So now we're gonna fix that with the light for the backdrop. 
See now, you can't see the light right now, but it's directly behind me on a small stand on the floor and just lighting the backdrop from the center. And that way that will kind of create kind of a halo look where it kind of, kind of comes out smoothly and spreads around the backdrop and just kind of creates a nice contrast to it. So that's one way to light a backdrop. So those are the basics on three-point lighting and a way to light your backdrop as well. So now we're gonna pass it off to Ken and he's gonna show you exactly how we apply that to the virtual desk. Okay, so now that we know the basic lighting principles, let's talk about how we light this virtual desk. The principles are basically the same here as well. So you have your key light, you have your fill light. As far as your backlight for the top of your head, we've incorporated that with an overhead light as well. And so that kind of lights up the desk and lights up the subject from up top. And that kind of gives us a nice blend for the entire set. Now, the other thing is the back light or lighting the background and that we chose two RGB colored lights and we will do a show I promise on RGBs and how we use them and how you dial them in and set these unique colored backgrounds. So this lighting uh, really is a nice comfortable soft lighting scheme that's really comfortable to the eyes. So, hey, we thank you for watching these programs. We thank you for your comments. We've really enjoyed interacting with you. Now, if you like this content, please subscribe. Hit the like button. We really appreciate that. And we appreciate any comments that you wanna leave. And if you wanna be notified of future shows, just hit that bell icon. So one other thing, there's a green screen up there. And so with the green screen, you can drop that and that can place you anywhere. It's not just fun for you, but it's fun for your audience as well. There is a little bit of a different lighting scheme for that, and we'll go over that in a future show. So we'll look forward to seeing you on the next one.